Um, so we've got this file open here, demo code.py. Before we talk about Python itself and what's going on here and write our first line of code, let's talk about one more important thing. Over here on the right, we see this window that might look a little bit intimidating. It's got some nice colors, user at Mimir colon, and this long uh, squiggly thing with a slash, and this looks familiar, CSCI 100 Howard University Fall 2021. That's the same as the folder name out here. And demo coding assignment, that's the same as the folder name here. So what is this? This is called a terminal. And you're used to interacting with your computer by using your mouse. And you mouse around, you click somewhere, you can double click to open a file. Um, if you have a Mac or a Windows machine, you can usually drop something and put it in the trash to delete it. Um, these are all really nice. And this is uh, these developments made computers accessible to more people and easier to use. But the terminal is the way to interact with the computer from your keyboard. And so you can directly tell the computer what to do. It's a really powerful tool. And as a programmer, um, this is a tool that you'll need to learn how to use. You won't need to know much for this class, but I'm going to show you a couple of basic commands that are useful to know. So the terminal. The first command I'm going to teach you is call is pwd. So you click on the terminal and you type in pwd and hit enter. So pwd stands for print working directory, and it'll print out the uh, directory that you're in. Directory means the same thing as a folder, but uh, a folder is usually just one folder that you're in. The working directory is the full path. And when we say path, we mean um, the names of all the folders that you're in, starting from the outermost one down to the innermost one. So you can see here that we have a CSCI 100 Howard University Fall 2021. Inside of that is demo coding assignment. And inside of that, um, we have some files. So what folder are we in right now? Well, um, we can see that it printed out CSCI 100 Howard University Fall 2021 slash demo coding assignment. Um, now you'll notice before that, there is this slash home slash CSCI 100. And you don't see those in here. Uh, that's because this is set um, as the home directory. So the home directory is where all of your files live. I won't to talk too much about it, but you'll notice that this little tilde at the front, um, this blue path here, first of all, you'll notice is the same as the working directory here. Looks identical, except at the beginning there's a tilde instead of slash home slash CSCI 100. And that tilde means home directory. So this tells us that our home directory, where we start from, is slash home slash CSCI 100. And you can see here on the left that it doesn't show slash home slash CSCI 100 because this CSCI 100 Howard University folder um, is in our home directory. That's what we're seeing here. So again, PWD, enter. Um, and actually, the terminal shows you exactly what folder you're in on each line, so you don't usually need to type pwd, uh, but it's a handy command to know. OK, what if, now that we're in a directory, we're in some directory, we want to see the files that are in this directory? So uh, for that, we can type the command ls, which stands for list. Um, hitting Enter will show us all the files or directories uh, or folders. You can also call them in this directory that we're in. So we see that we're in the demo coding assignment folder, right? And over here in this visual view that we're used to, we can see that there's one file, democode.py. And so when we type ls and hit enter, like we just did, we see that democode.py gets printed, which means that there is a democode.py file here in demo coding assignment. Now, the last command that I'm going to teach you for now is uh, how to change your directory. So let's say you're in one folder and you want to go to a different folder. Um, for that, there's this command called uh, cd, which stands for, you may have guessed, change directory. And this is going to be the first command where we have to give it an argument. Now, an argument is something that you uh, give to a command to tell it what to do. So we know we want to change a directory. That's the command. But we also have to say what directory we want to change to. So um, 
if we want to move up a directory, so move up to whatever the parent is, whatever folder your current folder is in, um, we can use dot dot. So dot dot means up one directory. So if we do that, hit enter, uh, you'll see now that this blue path, which shows us what folder we're in, has changed. And now it says just CSCI 100 Howard University Fall 2021. Um, and if I type PWD to print the working directory, which shows us where what folder we're in, you'll see that now we're in the folder above the folder that we were previously in. So in this visual view, we're now up in this folder. Now, stop and think. What if I were to list the, uh, the or, or use the ls command here? What would ls print? Take a guess. Three, two, one. I'm going to hit enter. Um, and we see here that uh, if we hit type ls or list, uh, the terminal will print demo coding assignment. Why is this? Because ls lists all of the files and directories inside of a folder. Um, and inside of this folder, we have just this one other folder. Now, Let's go over here and create a new file in here. Sample file, sample file.txt. So now there's another file inside of the CSCI 100 Howard University folder. And I'm just doing this to show you as an example. Now, what do you expect to happen if I type ls and hit enter? If I give the terminal the command to list three, two, one, if I hit enter, now you'll see that uh, there's both a demo coding assignment folder and a sample file.txt, which is exactly what we see on the left here. Um, you'll also notice that the demo coding assignment folder is in blue. And that's uh, to show us, to highlight the difference that uh, in white we have actual files and in blue we have other directories. So we've learned change directory for moving up a directory. What if you want to move into some directory that you see uh, listed? Well, for that, you will just type the name of the directory. So cd and then demo coding assignment and hit enter. Uh, oops, let's see what happened. No such file or directory. Ah, we'll need a slash at the end. So. Um, we need the slash at the end where we're moving into a directory uh, to signify that this is a, uh, a directory that has more below it. So we type cd and then the name of the directory with a slash at the end, um, which moves us into that directory. And now you can see that this blue um, current directory line shows us that we're in the uh, demo coding assignment folder. And if I do pwd, Again, print working directory. It'll print out the working directory. Now, let me show you one more thing. Um, I'll go back up one folder by typing cd and then dot dot, which is just a special uh, name for moving up a folder. And we're in the right place now. I'll type pwd. Now, if I'm going to list again, ls, uh, now I see demo coding assignment sample file.txt. Uh, the terminal has something very handy built in called uh, what's called tab autocomplete. And so um, if you type in a command um, and you type CD and now you want to move into this demo coding assignment folder, instead of typing out the whole name, you can type uh, just the first letter or first couple letters and then hit tab on your keyboard. So if I hit tab, the terminal automatically fills in the rest because it knows that if you're currently in the CSCI 100 Howard University Fall 2021 folder and you type CD and then you want to change directories, so then you type DE, the only thing in this directory that starts with a DE is demo coding assignment. So you must be trying to type a demo coding assignment. And so oftentimes you can use tab autocomplete to uh, move around in the terminal much more quickly. So then you can hit enter and pwd shows me that I am now in the demo coding assignment folder. And if I want to see what files are in here, um, I type ls.